Hey, Bob's almost running trying to beat me down that little tree. Look at him. Bang, 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 bang. A boom, 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 boom. A bang, 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 bang. I love the way you fly. I love the way you die. I love the way you walk. I love the way you fall. I knock you off of your feet. Something good to eat. Oh, boom, boom, boom. How, 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 how. This was one of those uh, not lamb days, this was more of a lion day. So the wind was roaring. Um, but we figure, you know, open, it's okay. We'll still catch fish because again, this thing is loaded with fish. This is what we like to call our honey hole around J-Town. And uh, so far it has never let us down on catching. Whether it's bass or crappie, we're gonna be catching them today, I promise even despite the wind, I hope. You know, one thing, the farmer, hey, because they were getting some rice gear ready, and I caught him, hey man, we're gonna hit the we're gonna hit the lake. And he said, dude, he said, you better get here for 11. It's supposed to be 50 mile per hour gust at 11 a.m. And uh, hey, the wind had whipped up. I had a hoodie on, it was cold, <laughs> you know, and the crappie were not biting. But the bass, we caught a few bass, so it was well worth it. Very big, thick. Uh, that's a bass, ain't it? Yep. It ain't a thick line. Ooh. There we bass. go. Nice bass. There you go. Oh, first fish right there, baby. <laughs> Even on a cold, blusty, winter day, windy day in the month of April in Arkansas, here's what you can still come home with. Second cast of the day. Bobby Likey. Just about the time I get on the bank, get set up, figure I'm in a good spot, and work a couple of spots, that's it. I look up, Archie's slamming the truck door, and we're ready to go, because we're always moving. So we don't get a bite in, in, in three minutes or less, but we're gone, next spot, gotta go. Fish for two seconds, he didn't catch anything, I did, so. Ah, let's go to the pipe. Can't stand it. Time to move, I didn't catch anything. Bob's already caught one. I can't handle that. What? You think I'm impatient? Who thinks I'm impatient? I'm not impatient. Yes, I'm not very patient when it comes to fishing. Uh, but here's the thing, I'm telling you, this is how it works. There's no need, if they are not biting right there, there's no need to stay in there. And Bob, he's kind of got to drag him along. Like, again, he's like, oh, okay, I didn't fish. I got to fish one foot over here. Oh, I got to go six inches over here. Oh, I got to, I'm telling you, they're not hitting. Let's roll, let's move, let's cover the ground, man. It's about covering water. Oh, right there, baby, right here. Crappie, crappie. No, maybe not a crappie, maybe a bass. That's a bass. Look at that. Hey, big man. Take your bobber off? Yeah, I'll take it off. I went deep. Well, I would say the Bob's a little bit bigger than mine. What do you think, Bob? Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, a lot bigger, so. Anyway, here you go, baby. Woo! I just need to put Bob on a bucket on the bank and leave him is what I need to do. Just leave him on a bucket with a bobber and some worms and just leave him. Let him sit there. Archie gets a little tense if I get a little ahead of him. So if I'm like three or four fish ahead, man, it's like the blinders go on. And he's just, I mean, he is working it hard, quicker. He's moving, covering more ground, I mean, more water. He's just like, he is ready. Got him right here. Pretty good fish. Hey, mine's bigger than that one now. <laughs> the wind. <laughs> Ain't nobody paying attention to me. I can't get it to me. Where's Archie? Look at Archie, you got him a fish. Ain't nobody paying attention. Go. 
I want to compare these. There you go. Don't tell me you're going to throw him right. I cannot believe that. Well, that one was much smaller. Mine's much smaller. I agree. It was not much of a fish. How's that feel to finally catch a bigger one than me? Feels like you're lying. <laughs> That's what it feels like. I believe I've like caught totally more lying. and larger. I'm going back again, Bobby. Me too. Going for more. Where you going? Don't right here next to you. Don't get over here with me. Boom Time with Bob and Archie is proud to be brought to you by Banded and Avery Outdoors. Get in the red zone and seal the deal. telling Glenn Sane stories. I'm Danny Ford. I have another story. Two of our customers and friends were taking a duck boat to Black River one day. They were driving along and a man pulled up beside them on a pickup truck. He was yelling at them to pull over. And they looked at each other and said, this guy is mad. And they wondered if they pulled out in front of him. Well, they finally pulled over. The man got out. He said, guys, your boat motor and trailer is about five miles back down the road. Glenn Sane, God bless our troops. Get set for hunting season now at d Outdoors in Jonesboro. Guns, archery, camo, ammo, and more all in one giant colossal store. Shoot the thrill with guns, guns, and more guns. With free setup and bore sight with any gun or scope purchase. Browning, Benelli, Remington, Weatherby, Marlin, Winchester, Savage, Mossberg, TCA, CVA, Knight, Zig, Smith & Wesson. Woo! d Outdoors on Parker Road just off the 63 bypass in Jonesboro. Online at dnwoutdoors.com. Get set for hunting season now at d and this segment of Boom Time with Bob and Archie brought to you by Russell's Truck Accessories. So we're just, uh, we only got about 10 or 15 minutes left to fish. We're in this one good spot right in a corner, kind of a wind break because we got the trees behind us so the water's a little bit calmer. I throw one in, I get a little nibble, I say, ooh, I got a little bite right there. And of course, as I'm reeling in, Archie throws right on top of right where I got that nibble. A little active minnow. He got their attention right there, baby. Whoa, 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 it's a little bit bigger bass. Hey. All's fair in love and war, and fishing. A little bit bigger. I ain't got no help. Ain't nobody helping me. Net? You need a net? Ain't nobody helping me, are they, Bob? What you need a net for? Man, it's just like a feeling you can't describe. I mean, that thing is, hey, it, it's took it, and you've hooked it, and it's running, you know? It's like, ha, ah, it's a man thing. I mean, it's a man thing. I love it. And especially if Bob's not caught one like that. I think he thought as soon as he hooked that, I was going to try to do everything I could to try to keep that fish from coming in. So it was going to be like me throwing my line on top of his, wrapping around it, or doing something. <laughs> I'm trying, trying to get him this way without breaking the line. I think maybe a shark. Oh! Yeah, he's bass. Big, Big bass. bass. I think you ought to go in, Bob. Okay, oh, got a rock right there. Uh, Bob! you know, starts trying to uh, get a net, and usually it's me telling him, he's just standing there watching me, you know, I'm like, man, help me, come on, help me, I can't can't do this. Uh, and then, you know, yeah, Bob, you're a little afraid he's gonna look at, oh, I missed it, uh, oh, I, oh, oh, you know, because he wants to win. Uh, got him. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did he actually help me? <laughs> Thank you, Bob, for actually helping me. Oh! Bob, you're a good man. <laughs> Isn't that something? That is awesome. Here, I'll let you hold it. I just want to see him get the big fish in. I'm a servant. That's what I do. I mean, come on. I was excited. I was excited for him. 
And now, if the net would have accidentally hit the line and broke it right at the last second, I couldn't have, I mean, that would have just been an accident. I mean, really. Hey, on a, what, six pound line with a minna and a bobber. That right there is probably, what is that, five pound? That's five pounds, easy. Yeah, he feels like five pounds, that's a good fish. That's a good five. What do you think? A catch and an assist. Bob, you help me out. Woo! Well, you know, Bob sometimes does have a good side. And so he actually helped me. Uh, he actually uh, helped me get the fish in. You know, even though I caught the biggest fish of the day, uh, he was a part of that, so, you know. He had a, he had a friendship moment, just for a moment. And he did it, but so it's good. You know what? I'm I gonna thought have I was to gonna quit. fall in. I'm gonna quit talking about you and Man. being ugly to you. Good fish, monster. All right, that's boom time. Bob and Arch right there. And Bob actually helped Arch out. Wow, good fish. We might need to take a picture of him. Talk about sacrifice. Sacrifice. Is that a band? No. You know. Talk about sacrifice in marriage, sacrificial love. Whew. What about it? How do you practice that? <laughs> By giving up your selfish desires. So does that mean we're down here fulfilling our selfish desires, sitting on this rock fishing? No, that means if my wife wanted me to. Oh no, missed him. Brim, I think. But uh, no, it just means that uh, you know you've got to make sacrifices in the things you want to be able to take care of your wife, take care of your family. Um, it's not always easy. Like I said uh, last week, you know that's one of my big issues is just selfishness. You know, when we first got married, it was just so hard to to stop doing all the things I wanted to do when I wanted to do them. I'm like, well, wait a minute. So what's an example? What were you, first got married, what were you wanting to do all the time that? That was back in the day. Uh, that was in the day of freezing hair. <laughs> that was in the day where we had no kids and um, I liked to play golf. Uh -huh. And so I would play golf five or six days a week. Oh, after work and stuff? Before, before work. Because you were working the night. I didn't work till two o'clock. Yeah. And so, yeah, it was just, uh, you know, and then on the day she had a day off, she was like, well, let's go do something together. And I'm thinking, well, do you want to play golf? <laughs> uh, with I, I, four I other guys. It didn't go very well. Did it, it did not go over well. And I realized, you know what? Yeah. Sometimes I've got to sacrifice to spend time with my wife. You know, I think for Angie, and Angie wants to, you know, she, she texted me when she's teaching school. She said, hey, send me a picture. Uh, of what you're catching because it'll make my day go better. Yeah. You know, and she would love to be sitting right here uh, <laughs> on the bank with us in the yes. middle of us fishing, you know. Uh, and so there's times she needs a quality time. You know, it's time when I'm not distracted, when yep. I'm not, you know, we're not hunting or fishing, but this time me and her where she just wants to talk. And Yeah, it's one of my wife's love languages for sure is quality time. Yeah. Uh, and you know, that's one thing I had to learn uh, man of how to, and I'm still learning that. Now, I've been 20 yeah. years of marriage and still that quality time. And you know, and two, it is the and thing. I, she loves that. My wife also likes some, you know, acts of service. She oh, likes, yeah. you know, when I come home I today, if she's out working, <laughs> if I finish, I get all the dishes done, clean up yeah. the kitchen, wash a couple of loads of clothes and fold them, put them away. Man, I fill up that love tank. Whoo, I'm telling you. Oh, 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 yeah, I just about lost you. That was a little better one. No five pounder, but that was better than the last couple I caught anyway. That's pretty nice. It is always a learning process, no doubt. And sometimes when she says, no, go ahead and do that, she really doesn't want you to go ahead and do that. So you got to learn to kind of read between the lines sometimes. Hey, so you're saying as men, husbands, we have to be like mind readers? Or I mean, we, we there has to be, we have to some, have some type of, type of connection yeah. because there are those times when you're told to, to go ahead and do something and you go ahead and do it. And then when you get back, you're in the doghouse. Yeah. Um, and I said, well, what's the matter? 
Well, I can't believe you went and did that. Well, you told me to go do that, but I didn't really want you to go do that. I don't, I'm not really sure how, you know, after a while you just learn, but at, at the beginning, you don't really understand that. So you just kind of need to be in, more in tune with your wife's mind to kind of know how she thinks. <laughs> That's a mind reader. That's a mind reader, and it's, it's a, it is a mind field. It's <laughs> tough to, to get around sometimes. This one here is probably running from Big Daddy trying to eat him. Most likely. Women are a lot smarter than men. And I, I, like I said, I think because we're too selfish. I think women think a lot more about us and helping us and taking care of us and doing things with us than men do. I, and I don't know why that is. I don't, I don't know if that's just the way God made us or what, but women are definitely smarter than us. Well, women have that nurturing aspect. Absolutely. To them. And so as far as nurturing children, but also, uh, you know, Angie will still tell people, she said, hey, I'm going to care for my man. I'm going to take care of my man. You know, uh, she's teaching school. Uh, and so she has a nurturing aspect about yep. her that even comes out with, uh, with me. So definitely I married myself. She's definitely smarter than I am. Tough in this wind. It's hard. Giant crappie. <laughs> this segment of Boom Time with Bob and Archie brought to you by the Camo Shop. For more about Boom Time with Bob and Archie, visit us on the web at boomtime.tv. There you can find all of our past episodes and connect with us through Facebook, Twitter, and email. They're here. Ranger XP-1000, the most powerful Ranger ever. General 4, the off-road's most popular new crossover. And Ride Command, connecting you like never before. See the best of 2017. Or grab a great deal on remaining 2016s. Get rebates up to $2,000 during the Polaris factory authorized clearance. Barton Power Sports, Parker Road off the 63 bypass in Jonesboro. Getting to your dentist can be inconvenient. Sometimes you simply can't take off of work or don't have enough time during the day. At Higginbotham Family Dental, we add more hours to your day with our convenient 7 to 7 and Saturday hours. We know how busy life can be, so we've changed our schedule to help accommodate yours. You don't have to miss out on the important or memorable moments. Your convenience and comfort is our first priority because we know how important family is. Higginbotham Family Dental, now 7 to 7 and Saturday appointments. Because of my work schedule, I usually end up walking the dog kind of late. Normally, I feel pretty safe in my neighborhood, but after a few instances around town, I was looking for some protection. United Pawn Brokers helped me find the right gun for me. Not only did they have the absolute best prices in town, but they made the whole process easy. Now I can go for a walk at any hour and feel safe, and United Pawn Brokers helped me do that. Can we go camping? Let's go camping! Mashburn's RV on South Stadium in Jonesboro has a Jayco camper to keep the kids happy, make Dad proud, and Mom comfortable for years of family fun. Hi, I'm Laura Dixon. Let us show you how affordable a Jayco travel trailer, pop-up, or anything in between is from Mashburn's RV for year-round vacation or weekend getaways. Get your Jayco camper during the 2016 clearance event going on now at Mashburn's RV on South Stadium in Jonesboro or online at MashburnRV.com. Let's go camping! Quality clothing for farmers. Welcome back to Shop Talk, where we take scripture and we work it into our everyday lives. And today, that's right, is a good one, guys. Woo! Uh, and it's a ladies, tough one now. Hey, yes, this is a good it, one. This is about loving your wife sacrificially. That's man. right. We're talking about Ephesians five twenty five. Says, yeah. "Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave Himself up for her." So, think about that. That's that's tough. You know, well, the thing is that Jesus did is he gave his example, mm -hmm. okay? And just as he says in the scripture that you read, when he says he gave himself up for the churches, hey, we know he went to the cross. Right. You know, he, hey, and here's the thing about Christ, left the throne room of heaven, okay? Left Father God, throne room of heaven, angel, I mean, he created everything. He leaves all that, born of a virgin Mary, and lives a sinless life, perfect life, 
grows up as a man, you know, begins ministry about the age 30 for three years, does great ministry, but is an example to right. us and goes to their, his whole mission was to die so that we could have life, you know? So it had to be a shedding of blood. When he says sacrifice, hey, and we're not worthy of that, man. I mean, not worthy no. of it all. And so he loved us so much he did. That is the ultimate picture of sacrifice. So he says, just the way that Christ gave himself up for the church. But how do we live up to that? I mean, how can yeah. we do that as fallen <laughs> men? I mean, well, here's the thing. You cannot do that on your own yeah. and you cannot do that without Christ. Uh, again, it comes back to that personal relationship with Jesus. You know, for me at the age of 25, for you at a younger age, surrender to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because uh, sacrifice is not we don't normally do that. In right. fact, we're selfish. Absolutely. And so we don't want to sacrifice somebody else, you know? Hey, man, we'll go to deer camp. We're going to stay like six months. Come on, you know, not take a bath. <laughs> you know, and the wife's back home with three kids. Uh, that's our... Yes. That's our sinful flesh nature. So it's selfish. We want what we want. Hey, we want a bass boat. We want to go fishing for four days and not have to answer. Yeah. That's not sacrificial. So he says, love your wife the way Christ loved church. It is a sacrificial love. And that is, like I said, that's not... I mean, I don't say that's not how we're built, but we are built as selfish creatures. I mean, that's kind of, that's our fallen nature. Oh yeah. We want what we want, and it is hard for us to sacrifice the things we want for somebody else. So what do we do? What does the Bible tell us on how do we do that? Well, again, uh, that's where you will put your wife before yourself. For example, let's give you some stuff we do. You know, Angie and I, uh, she told me when, when we got married, right. you know, and uh, when, especially when she had kids, she said, here's the thing, Archie, uh, you can go deer hunting, but you're gonna take those boys with you. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so, now that's not when they're four and five, that's not necessarily <laughs> fun, okay? Especially yeah. when they're 16 months apart. And, and that was a way just, and so that gave her time to be by right. herself, because she was stay-at-home mom, gave her time to be by herself and to kind of get her mind back right. And I tell you what, that's just one example yeah. of loving your wife. Uh, sacrificially. Another uh, example would be too is, man, as husbands, uh, don't make your wife deal with stuff yeah. that you're supposed to deal with. You know, we, we talk about that uh, and talked about that before. For example, uh, if you have a daughter and she's dating some old boy, uh, your wife <laughs> can threaten that boy and your wife can tell him to have that daughter home at 10 o'clock or right. whatever. Uh, but that's not your wife's responsibility. Yeah. That's where dad needs to step in. Dad needs to step up to the plate and look that boy in the eye and say, you know what? I will hurt you if you touch my daughter. I enjoy that role. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> you love that stuff, man. You kind of, you're, you're all about that. I love uh, that stuff. You know, so if we don't, and that's where men say, man, I don't have to deal with that guy. Well, guess what? You better deal with him because yeah. if you don't deal with that guy that's dating your daughter when she's 16, that's that right. guy can ruin your, your the, he can ruin your daughter's life. That's right. You know, and again, I know we've said this before, but a lot of times that's where men, passivity, just like loving your wife submissively on it, sacrificially, well, just let her deal with it. I, I got my me thing, yeah. my time, my time. And man, look, I get to go deer hunting. Praise God, hallelujah. Okay, but now I can't stay gone for three months at a time. Right. So here's our uh, you know tip of the week segment, but where we want to give folks kind of practical tips on how they can do what we're talking about. So how can husbands love their wives sacrificial? What's well, a couple of tips? Yeah, a couple of things would be too is that God created men to lead. Okay, now I know there are ladies who are great leaders out there, and I don't mean anything about that. But he created men to lead. Right. So there again, men, and we're going to hit this throughout this time that we're together, mm -hmm. and we talk about this. Don't be passive. Be leaders. Take responsibility. There are things your wife is doing. That it's your role yeah. to do in the family. If it's dealing with uh, the boyfriends or girlfriends of your kids or if it's in raising kids, it's like you talked about. So there are things. And, and probably you know what that could be. Yeah. Take that responsibility. Uh, do that. That's a way to love her sacrificially. She's not created, designed to handle yeah. certain pressures. So that's what a man is. You mm -hmm. know, that's your role. Take it. Lead out. Okay. Sacrifice. You say, I don't want to devote the time. I, you got to do it. Okay. It's make a strong marriage. Uh, another thing is too, is, uh, you know, I, I love killing stuff when we're hunting, right? And I love fishing. Yes. Yes. And here's the thing, Bob and I can be in the boat. Now Bob talks a lot, but you know, I'm okay just in the boat with nobody saying anything to me. To love Angie sacrificially, you know, uh, you know, we know we killed those geese right. and our wives went, Angie's yeah. like, when are we going again? When are we going? You know, <laughs> when, when are y'all going fishing? Y'all catching anything? Uh, now, this, I hope this sounds okay. 
But to love her sacrificially is to take her with me. Yeah. You know, now that here's what that means. That means I may have to bait the hook. I may have to do this, I may have to do that. I can't get her in the chiggers. She's not gonna step in the weeds. You know, I can't get her where the snakes are hanging around the trees. Back. You can get her out I, to the I, There's a lot of stuff. There's just a lot that comes with that. Where's my pole? What happened? You know, Bob been using my stuff, you know. Those are some sacrificial things, you know. But again, hey, look, I love spending time with yeah. her. And uh, you know, most women just want you to spend time Absolutely. with them. Yeah. You know, our wives just want us to spend time. That is a way to love your wife, sacrifice. Put her first, you know, put her first. And two, hey, if you're watching this, find, you know, find a way in your relationship, love your wife, sacrifice, yeah. or whatever it may be. Find a way to do that. Put her first. I'm telling you, it will rock your world. It will make a huge difference. So uh, if you want more tips or more ideas on how to do that, of course, you can always uh, check us out on Facebook. Send us a private message there on Twitter. Um, you can also send us an email, bob at boomtime.tv, archie at boomtime.tv. We'd love to answer any questions you might have, talk to you about it, or if you want our, if you're a woman watching this and you'd like one of our wives to respond to you as well, we can uh, get her in touch with you too. Yeah. We'll be right back. More Boom Time coming up. Interested in hearing more from Pastor Archie? You can watch all of his sermons from Central Baptist Live or on demand at centralbaptist.com slash live. Closed captioning of Boom Time with Bob and Archie brought to you by Apex Communications. No toasters, just cash. Get up to $100 when you open a Focus free checking account. Just $25 to open. Get free checks, free instant issue debit card, free mobile banking, free online banking, free bill pay, and free direct deposit. All with no minimum balance and no monthly service charge. Stop by any branch or visit us online at focusbank.com. I'll take the ones on the left. Hey, get them, get them, get them. Uh -oh. I can't see. Man, what's wrong with you? The sun is killing me. Hey, you need some Oakley sunglasses from Lens. I got a prescription. Hey, I got a prescription. In one hour, they'll give them to an you. Hour, one hour, I'll an be hour. back in an hour, and before you can kill your limit. No way. We are Straster Brothers Construction in Blyville, and we build industry. We're one of Middle America's top providers of construction, engineering, and design services since 1980. We are a debt-free company, own our own equipment, and complete projects on time and on budget. So from conception to completion, Straster Brothers offers all the services needed for your next industrial build. Straster Brothers Construction. We build industry. For more info, visit straysterbrothers.com. If there's one thing we know about the future, is that we want them to have it even better than we did. The best is what we're expecting for our families, for our best friends, for our better halves. So when someone we love is not feeling their best, that's when we need it the most. To get the best doctors, the best hospitals, the best treatment, to just get better. Here you go, Bob. You guys are fat. Thanks, Rusty. Man, there are doves flying everywhere. I need Bob. I'm back, back I'm back. Wait, wait, back. They're right where, there. I can where, see where, now. Where, where, where. Wow, you actually hit those. Hey, Lens Masters will take care of you, baby. Hey. I can see you again. <laughs> this segment brought to you by the Arkansas Baptist Foundation. Nice. Nice. Dude, that's awesome. nice. About 10 of those. I thought he was a catfish, honestly. I did too. I thought it was catfish because it stayed down so hard. Go on out there, big boy. My minnow gone. You'll be eating them little crappy. Ooh. Wow. Man. There's a big one. That was something now. Six pound line and a... That's, that's that thing's hungry, wasn't it? Like that. That's that would have been a really good catch on a worm and a little more test line. <laughs> 